Hey, welcome back to the Build It Basement. Today, just a quick review on an electric screwdriver I picked up on Amazon, the Jake Me uh, 40-bit unit with the JM Yo 2 Plus, or Yo 2 Plus. Man, how you look at things, right? Let's take a look what's inside the box. So, this is what I got from Amazon. It came in the mail today. I have not opened this up yet. It did not have plastic on it, and I believe it's supposed to, so eh, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but it doesn't look like it's used in any way, shape, or form. Uh, decent packaging here. Uh, a little bit about the screwdriver is an adjustable torque screwdriver, which means that you can fine-tune your torque settings on there, and you can argue all you want about how precise these are, but I believe um, for you know repetition, Anything electric, as long as the batteries don't die on you, is going to be a little bit better than doing it by feel. So inside the box, we got the screwdriver. We have a total of 40 bits. Um, it looks like we have some hexes, uh, ones that we could use, a 1.3, a 1.5, a 2, up to a 3.5, some torques, some slots, some Phillips, some tri-wings, some pentalopes, triangles. I never really had used pentalopes or triangles. Uh, standoff in U-shaped. Not even sure where the U shape is. Um, yeah, so it's cracker open. Got a little pull tab here. So let's look at what we got. Yeah, nice, decent box on there. Um, gonna leave some description information on the link on getting this on Amazon. Also, a, another link down there telling you how you can buy the exact same one from a different manufacturer for fifteen to twenty dollars cheaper than I paid. Because you know, why not notice something like that after the fact, right? All right, so inside the box we have our bits. We have a magnetizer, demagnetizer. So we have a, f a magnet in plastic. Uh, we have a USB type C, which is nice. Uh, it's one of the benefits of this unit. It comes with a type C, much prefer that over the micro USB. Uh, I got a manual in here um, with the obvious details here as to what the accessories come with it. Uh, Two-way rotary joint torsion regulated land steering steering start button did you not it says steering come on Let's try this one Let's do that come on ah i got nothing that will zoom in on me come on somewheres yeah anyways it says steering start button on there so Obviously, there's some translation going on here. Hopefully, it wasn't from Chinese to German to Dutch to Japanese to English because that tends to be what happens. Um, let's see here. Attachment matches the size. Step one. Uh, two, uh, start from the lowest torque and work your way up. It's a good idea, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Pay attention. Only use the small and medium-sized screws of electronic devices. Not suitable for any large electronic products. Do not apply on the assembly of electronic enclosures such as PC, PS4, Xbox, Blooper, Blue, Blue Lay Player. Interesting. Um, I guess it will work on an Xbox One and a PS3 since they're not listed on that piece of paper. Who knew? All right. So fun stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, fault resolution. Uh, screwdriver cannot be charged. But it's, it's, it's stuff. It, this is garbage because the wording isn't even good. Um, no good English. So inside the package, we got that. We got this. We got some tape holding some foam in here. Let's get rid of that. Tape seems kind of ghetto, but whatever. Uh, some foam holding that in place. Foam holding that in place. Let's get that off. And here is the highlight of the show. The Jake Me screwdriver so first and foremost it has a decent weight on it it's probably half to a th eh, probably half maybe a third of the weight of the the dremel screwdriver that i've been using um which there's nothing wrong with that it's just a little bit big um when you get low screws i've been working on my v01 um and uh this is overkill for something like that so um kind of excited to have this for a little smaller stuff uh, it's got, let's see, a USB Type-C on the back here. Uh, what I can only assume is an LED light there. Uh, let's see here. We also have a rocker switch. I'm guessing reverse and forward, depending on which way you push on that. Unit's pretty quiet. I'd say very quiet comparatively to 
the Dremel. Probably again one third of your volume and this POS unit that I got for funsies because it was so cheap at the Harbor Freight. This is probably quieter but there's absolutely no grease on those gears on the inside of it and the gears are probably made out of PLA. Who knows. Uh, Alright so uh, let's see attentioning here or torque settings are done by the top section. I got a one through eight uh interesting enough it gets tighter as you turn it i don't know if that has a representation of how tight the screw is um but i can only assume the eight is tightest and it's actually closer to eight and a half i guess um and one being the loosest so oh it changes tone depending on how you have that torque setting set at one where it's free spinning completely, very quiet. At five, moderately quiet. And at eight, it is noisier. So there's probably some type of collet or something in there. Some something, hopefully nothing that wears out too quickly on onto what that's doing. Um, and let's see here. On the lightest setting. Oh boy, that's super light. Yeah, so. On the lightest setting, you probably aren't going to hurt anything, no matter what you try. It, it's probably not going to happen. Um, and then on the heaviest setting here, I ain't got enough juice. So I'm guessing this probably has a third charge in it, but that's pretty powerful, actually. It's not too bad right there. Um, so yeah, that's that that right there for now and take a look at what we got for bits um, no bit holder in here other than the foam it came in um, but the packages packaging is not too bad you could utilize this something like this keep that in there and throw in the drawer when you need it um, they did not provide a wall warp but I think everybody has 10,000 of those at this point so um, good bad and different uh different bits here like we talked about we have our hex bits down here flathead um some triangle some phillips some star kind of a whole assortment all right let's grab what's this a two so one, yeah. got an m3 here and actually let's see fits like so that's a pretty dang good fit on that that's got a little bit of play comparatively and let's try that's got a little bit of play too this is actually probably you can actually hear it kind of snap in there probably is one of the better bits I have in terms of that particular screw so that's pretty impressive and again back to right here I can totally stop that no problem at all with my fingers on that three 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 I can't two I can two and a half only if I turn it hard so that tells me is there there are differences here as I move this up um, you know from one to one and a half two two and a half and three um, so it is it, it, that torque setting is working a little bit. So I don't know right now how long that battery is going to last or how long it's going to take to charge that battery. Uh, but I can tell you first impressions are the bits seem to be relatively good. The unit has a nice anodized look to it. The feel is very good. The size is good. The weight is good. Um, I'm kind of out right now on this, this torque setting, um, mechanism they're using. Um, seems a little odd to me, but who knows? Um, it does not have a push to uh, turn like the uh, Dremel does. One of the benefits of the Dremel um, that I, I like is the fact that I can um, I can hurt my hand if I do it that way. Uh, I can basically push to to to, to engage that. That's that's a good feature of that. This does not have that, but all in all, it seems like a nice unit to have. 
um, and I'm going to enjoy using it. Hopefully it speeds up some of my build process. So anyways, if you like this video, if you like what you see here, check the information down below. I'll have a link to this and um, I will see you next video.